Over 27 days, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, watched hundreds of thousands of stars. Among those entering the red giant phase, astronomers found a pattern of absence. Close-in giant planets were missing. The team analyzed data from 456,941 post-main sequence stars. From that, they identified 130 planets in tight orbits. But the odds of finding one dropped as the host star aged. Subgiants showed a 0.35% planet occurrence rate. Early red giants? Just 0.11%. That's not a coincidence. It's a signal. As stars expand, tidal forces between star and planet intensify. The planet's orbit shrinks. Some fall in. Others break apart. For orbits shorter than six days, the decline was steepest. Many likely didn't survive more than 10 million years. Earth isn't in that zone, but it's not exempt. In five billion years, our sun will reach that same phase. Mercury and Venus are expected to be engulfed. Earth may survive the expansion, but not the heat. Next, the team will use high-precision spectrographs like HARPS to measure planet masses. That data will help determine which planets resist tidal decay and why. The findings were published in October 2025 in Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society.